everyone. I have something a bit different to do for you today. Um, this is a colouring download that my husband's actually made. Um, he made it sort of for me to have a go at colouring and um, it's also on his Kofi shop for free for anyone that wants to download it. As I say, it's really quite different. I'm going to have a bit of a play. I probably won't do the whole thing, but just to... What I want to do is have a go with my 120 gold pencils, my new ones, have a play and see how well they blend and use this um, picture um, at the same time, just sort of do two things at once really. So what I've done with my 120 gold is I've made a swatch chart because although it comes with one, which I have here, it's rather hickety pickety and that's the order they were in the um, case. So I have um, made one which is for me in a better order this is available for you as well in my Kofi shop. I'll put a link to this as well. So you can download it. There's the Excel file is available as well. So if you don't like my order, you can move it around yourself. Um, you know, that's just an option for you. But we're going to have a play and uh, just see how well they blend. And, uh, and just have a go at this at the same time. I just thought it would be a bit different and a bit of fun. I'm going to come in a bit closer. Ooh, we're a bit wonky. Anyway, it doesn't matter, it's not. And I'm just going to choose some of these little sp spaces and some colours and just mix them up and see where we go with it all. Um, I'm going to start with some of my favourites. Why not? So I'm turning to the back. Um, the sepia light is one of my favourite colours in the set. It's really unique. And I'm going to start with this just in um, here. It's really hard to tell where I am um, on camera. So I'm going to put a darker layer around the edge of here. Now this is the sort of tendrils idea um, husband had. I'm um, thinking of sort of things like sweet peas. So I'm going to darken that edge a lot. So I'm just layering it up a bit more and then fade it a bit on this edge by scumbling it down a bit. I think this almost looks like a rose gold. I really fade it down and then I'm going to add my second colour. Um, how am I going to do this? I shall do that. Um, I want the... is it on this side? The old rose. Yes, it's called old rose. And I'm going to just start about here and sort of scumble in. Now I sharpened all of these pencils <laughs> um, because um, I uh, they all came flat. The ends were just flat and I didn't like them. So I sharpened them all. Now what I'm going to do is grab the, this really pale colour, the almond, and just go over it all and try and just sort of mix it up a bit. Um, yes, yeah, so I, um, oh. <laughs> I obviously sharpen them too hard, but yeah, I, it took a long time. This is where you want an electric sharpener, really. So there's my first little one. I'm going to do something, a completely different colour now. Let's do purples or something like that. Where should we go? Um, let's grab this. Is this the mulberry? Yeah, the mulberry is our sort of darkest purple. So we use that around the edge. So this is quite a relaxing type design. Um, to colour, um, you know, you can do anything you want with it really. Yeah, he, he likes, he's just started making me some colouring pages. So he's made me a colouring e-zine as well, which is also available on his Kofi. And that one, I'm just going to fade that a bit more. Um, that one was a sort of reversible easing where I want to go for a sort of pinky colour. Purple, yeah, I'm going to use the purple. Where's that? Sorry, I'll find it now. 
purple light, it must be here. Yeah. There it is, purple. So it's a reversible easy. And basically, um, one sheet of paper and you fold it up in a special way so that it's got eight pages and you can fold it in reverse. So on the one side, there are the pictures that he's painted. And then on the other side are blank ones that can be um, coloured in. And uh, so he made me one of those, which is lovely. And it's for sale in his shop. So if you want a little mini colouring book, it's good fun. There we go. I think they're blending fairly well, actually. But let's keep, let's do a... Let's do a red, orange, yellow blend. We don't have many reds in this set. Um, more, a lot more than in the 72 set, but even so. I'm thinking like oranges as well. There's like three oranges. I'm going to use the vermilion to have three oranges in a set that of 120 seems quite small. We could have done without some of the um, Tuscan yellow light, Naples yellow light, primrose yellow. Could have done and um, golden yellow. Just one of those four would have been nice. A few more oranges, in my personal opinion. But obviously, um, everyone likes different things. So, scumbling it in. Just going to make the edge a little bit more defined. In the rain. My poor boy's back at uni today and it's absolutely chucking it down with rain. I'm going to use the Academy in Orange Deep. Yeah, it's pouring and windy, gale force winds, but at least it isn't so hot. I made them put a drinks bottle in their bag because yesterday it was so hot and today they're going to be absolutely, we won't need one. Let's put a lighter colour in the middle. We've got a lighter orange. We've got a marigold. Yeah. That probably would have looked nice with the yellow in the middle. But I'm orange. There we go. But now where should we go? Mm. Let's do some blue. I haven't done any blue yet. Um, um, what blue? I'm going to use the ultramarine light, which I loathe. But, you know, don't like ultramarine. Where are you, ultramarine light? Sorry, there's the ultramarine. It must be this one. There it is. I really dislike this sort of shade of ultramarine. The ultramarine in the polychromos I like. It's more of a grey blue, quite a light colour. Whereas these sorts of ultramarines, like this and like you get in most sets, um, a sort of dark, big biro blue colour. Got a really tiny section there, haven't we? Um, yeah, don't like them. Now this is printed, by the way, just on normal copy paper and I'm leaning straight on my desk. I haven't um, done anything special. I don't actually have any proper drawing paper, apart from what I got sent with these pencils, but it's A5. And I'm not sure if I can print an A5 on my uh, in my printer, so I haven't fiddled around with that yet. Trying to go for a turquoise colour, what have we got? Teal green. I'm going to use, whoops, the cobalt turquoise has just snapped the end off. Did you hear it go snap? So I pulled it out of the case. Oops. Never mind. Um, so yes, this is just normal copy paper, so there's nothing special about the paper at all. I thought it was always a good test, actually, because it's a bit like, well, it's a bit like UK Amazon paper. These two colours are a bit too far away from each other. I'm going to see if I can smush in some of that darker blue. Um, but, um, well, that's not too bad. Um, 
yeah, it's a bit um, greens now, I think. Um, where should we go? I'll go for the earth green, quite dark. It's almost a brown. And then put some green in. We'll do this section here. Um, yeah, UK Amazon paper tends to be quite like copy paper. I know the American Amazon paper tends to be quite toothy. And I know um, people who use alcohol markers, sort of a brush marker or a brush pen, find that it wears the nib. I found that. I used um, I used my Caran d'Ache water brush in a toothy Amazon paper book and it wore down the end really badly. I was like, ooh. I'll use a lighter green in there. Um, what should we use? The olive green maybe? I think these are blending up nicely. I do think you need to have a fairly sharp point. I, I um, sharpened all of these with my dowel because um, of them being oily pencils. I thought they might benefit from a, uh, that sort of sharpness and I think they have done. Right, we need some yellow. I'm going to actually just grab a... Um, I want the... My yellows are turning the wrong way. Yeah, I'm going to go out the Cadmium Yellow Light, just the one pencil, and put it in there. Oh, look at that. Now, I'm not blaming the pencil for this. This would happen because it's me. Um, whatever happens. Now, we'll do a bit of pink. I'm going to go for the um, Coral Deep. Really pretty. I love this colour. You know, I don't like pinks, but this sort of salmony pink is nice. I'm just going to scumble it in a bit and then use the. Um, this is the um, pink bloom in the middle. It's quite a similar colour actually. It might not look like a different colour. There we go. Now, what else should we use? Um, it's purple, pinks. We haven't used these sorts of reds. Um, let's go for a. What should we grab? The mahogany. Okay, and where should we put it? We're trying to keep you central, really. Um, this bit here, I think. You can see that it's going to take quite a long time to do this page like this, but I'm going to uh, do the whole page at some point, but not all on camera. But we'll just do a few more blends of different colours. There's the mahogany. Now I want something a bit lighter. Um, what's going to match? I think maybe the cherry, cherry pink. Before. Is it that? No, it's this, isn't it? Yeah, cherry pink. Sounds a bit old, but I think it's going to work. See if I'm gentle, I don't snap the end. You can see that there's still bits of paper showing through. And I feel that if you used a toothy paper with these pencils, it would not necessarily look very nice. Um, but I'm going to use the peach next. Um, but I think you might have to just keep layering a lot, you know, or even use a blender to uh, smooth it off or to push it down into that tooth or a burnisher. Burnisher blender, what's the difference? Well, for those of you who don't know, 
Um, I'm going to use this um, apricot light to finish off this one. Um, the blender just smushes the cutters together and a burnisher will push it down into the tooth of the page and will form a sort of almost like a seal so it's your final layer. And um, speaking to a professional artist about it once, as you do, um, I'm going to use the cadmium orange light. Um, why should we use it? We won't use it up here. Um, she said um, she uses the blend, the burnisher for things like um, birds' beaks or talons. That gosh, this is a lot lighter than I thought it was going to be. Um, things that. Um, want to look shiny, you know. So that's what she used. If I'm going to use one of those pale yellows that I said I didn't really like, um, the there we go, Naples yellow light. It's really pale, isn't it? burnish that down quite hard and you can't see it very well but you know maybe it work, they work on black I mean it came with some black this set came with some black paper so maybe um, they would work better on the black I'm going to use this Venetian blue deep because it's quite an intriguing colour it's almost like a greyed purple I find it interesting anyway Just smooth it in. So my smaller gold set, I used a fair bit, but I'm hoping I can use them a bit more, or these a bit more, Venetian blue. Now that I've got the big set, sorry for that blur. Um, But I need to sort of get used to them a bit more. I think I've used the other set a lot. I don't feel like I'm used to them. I don't know if that sounds a bit odd. Um, let's go for some um, different lighter greens or darker greens or different greens. I'm going to use the Terra Verde Deep. I really am not a big fan of this colour, but let's just go for it anyway. Um, oh, just um, while I th think about it, my husband has some other items. Gosh, someone's been using my um, my duster for blue. Look at that. Uh, um, he has other things available in his shop that are free. He has some foam wallpapers um, of really pretty roses that he's drawn, coloured, no, drawn and painted. And um, what's the other thing he's got? I can try something really odd with this colour. I'll show you in a minute. I'm just going to want to make it really dark on the edge. Um, and some cacti as well that you can download for free and use this foam wallpaper. Oh, he's got a sort of random one as well, which is like a mix of colour, which I found quite fascinating. I'm going to use the green gold in the middle of here. Yeah, I'm mad. Um, now, what I like about this green gold is it's actually got shiny pigment in it, like um, like the metallic pencils do, so it actually shines, which I think is really nice. There, something a bit different, a bit of a different mix. Um, I want a proper green. We haven't done a proper green. Uh, let's have a look. Let's do the Viridian if I can find it. Where are you, Viridian? Uh, I must be over here. No, Juniper Prussian. Oh, nearly there. Leaf green. Oh, it's this way. Uh, helps if you put them all back with the names facing up. I really should do that. Um, where should we go? Let's go in here. Um, 
yes so there's that foam wallpaper as well that you can help yourself to if you could as a favor to me if you do go and grab a freebie please do um just follow him you know it's always nice and maybe check out his socials although he hasn't done a lot yet on his socials i'm about i'm going to make a video for him actually um soon i need a light mint green light i think it's what i want there it is this is the one with the name worn off i need to uh i think i'm okay with it worn off to be honest there we go okay um i can do a couple more but not much more we need to see some browns um let's grab this one this is the permanent brown the permanent brown i've always found a bit of an odd color let's see how it looks here where should we do it um here it always looks a bit purpley i don't know just my eyes but then the, i guess caput mortem is quite purpley but i'm sure this is supposed to be brown not over it there we go and then we'll go for a lighter brown what's that yeah we'll pop the yellow ochre on there although it's called yellow ochre it's actually for me a very light brown i put it in my browns <laughs> getting too eager okay we need some greys um, where should we go? We'll do this one. This is the cool grey. Um, go here. I'll put a much lighter one in the middle. This is fun. It's a great way to test out new pencils as well and experiment with different colour blends. And I would recommend it. And if you find a blend that you really like, you can um, note it down. Like if you've got a swatch chart inside your pencil set, which I've started doing, um, I can use the graphite light at the centre bit. You can write them on the back or something, or you know, your favourite mix mixes, blends of colour. There we go. Now, what haven't we got? We haven't got, um, I was going to say we haven't got many light pink. There isn't many light pinks. Um, we're missing this sort of ready brown section. We'll grab one of those. Oh, it's raining so hard. Sepia, hopefully, well, actually, my boys should be at the station by now because their train leaves in two minutes. They're getting the same train today because, um, my, whoops, my one son's got, they both got the start the same time, but one gets off a stop earlier than the other and walks much faster. So he gets to his lesson earlier. So he used to get a slightly later train. But unfortunately, due to um, this roadworks outside his building, this is terracotta light. And um, it means that he has to cross the road and walk a different walk a longer way round and so um um he has to leave a lot earlier much to his annoyance now what we got here what's that color mm, we use the warm gray it's a different color um we'll just do this little bit here Now I think I'm going to pick the Davies grey, or is there a light warm grey? Warm grey light, we use that. There we go. Now, um, I want to use a few bright greens, so I'm going to use the Leaf Green Deep. raise my camera slightly I'm just going to zoom out there um, where we've got green there and there 
Um, put a little bit here. It says it's leaf green deep. It doesn't seem particularly dark to me. A relief green light. Let's have a look. Castle green light. There it is. Leaf green light. I think I'll do one more blue and then I might call that a day actually. Um, we've got a great deal of blues, have we? Let's use the primary blue. I guess that's why they weren't sharpened to a fine point, because they snap off. Of course I can alter my sharpness so that it isn't such a sharp point, but I just like a nice sharp point, but maybe, maybe I shouldn't. I'm going to use the cerulean blue for the centre of this one. Oh, it's a bit similar, isn't it? <laughs> I feel like I just need to do that one. I don't know why. Um, let's have a look. Oh, let's do the overshine. That's really dark. Oh, it's too close to that, isn't it? Let's not do that. Um, what should we do? We could do another yellow one, couldn't we? What have we got? We've got the, oh, we have used this. Let's use the marigold. No, because that's too close to that, for goodness sake. Um, <laughs> let's use the brilliant yellow. Where are you there? Brilliant yellow. Yeah, I'm going to continue with this off camera and um, finish it. I shall share a finished picture with you. Um, um, it might not be at the end of the video. Depends how quickly I get it done. It might be... Um, I'm going to use the um, lemon yellow light for the centre. It might be um, on my socials or in my completed pages. I'll also put it up on the um, on his Kofi to uh, show you. But that is um, me. So that's a sort of blending demo with regards to. I mean, it's not a blending technique as such, but it shows you how these blend. And uh, yeah, I thought that was fun. So I hope that was okay. Um, I enjoyed it. Um, hopefully you did too. I'm gonna, as I say, I'm going to carry on. I'm going to use all the colours on the page and and you know try out different blends and things and uh, have a go with that but uh, for now thank you so much for watching hoping that you have a really super day and happy colouring <laughs>